Hello and welcome to another Wingspan tournament match. This is of a tournament that started several months ago. I think it's called Emerald Tenega Tussle. And it's a double elimination tournament. I am 4 1 at the moment, which means that every match from now on is a sudden death for me. Um, yeah. So we are going second. The tray is not overly exciting. Um, the opening end features a hummingbird, a zero cost vulture, which might be interesting. Two three cost birds, well, which are probably not interesting. And a moderately interesting European turtle dove. We have falconer and enclosure builder as bonus card options, which is also not overly exciting. Mm, so this might basically be a um, play hummingbird to the water, go find some nice cards game. And one thing that makes this kind of complicated is First brown goal is filled columns, which sort of suggests that we also keep the turkey vulture. Mm, because that, with a ability to live everywhere and a low cost, means that it's very easy to fill the columns using that. And I'll also keep the your European turtle dove in addition. For the off chance that we get Clark's Gree, which I strongly doubt, I'll also keep a fish. Um yeah the bonus cards are really disappointing. I don't want to collect these birds when I don't have any in the opening hand, so I go with a falconer to just make Birds of Prey be worth two extra points each. Um, so, as expected, the uh, Clark's Grieve is gone, but we have a Colted as a replacement, which is a kind of nice bird. So that's going to be my forest bird. Mm. With the ability to um, guaranteedly generate extra weed, it will be quite doable to also play the turtle dove. Eastern king bird. Uh, so they will be benefiting from me playing forest birds, which is fine though. <clears throat> I might play the colted as the last bird then, because I have enough food now for my three first column birds, and I can simply go and grab some cards first. So then the hummingbird gets the fish, which is a bit of a flavor fail because the food that was intended for the Clark's Grebe now went into the hummingbird. I don't really know how he managed that. Probably he, he sucked the fish dry from the inside. In any case, I have a very sated hummingbird now. <laughs> need to be watch out that the doesn't drop down here. Mm. So five actions left, that's kind of a lot. What they do, they lay the eggs, of course. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to play the coated as the last bird um, in order to not give them the worm too early. Maybe this will be the decisive factor too. Uh, have them not fill the first column. Maybe also not, but yeah. 
As long as there is no no pressing need to play the coated, we can postpone this. So laying eggs, playing the vulture, drawing some cards. Probably not giving away free berries if we going down the uh, food deprivation lane. Which means so we have four actions. Two are free, so to speak, because the other two we need for playing birds. We could actually consider drawing the Sandhill Crane. So that turns wheat into two points, whereas the Colted, which might be storing a bunch of wheat, there it is only worth one point each. And it is the minimal requirement for the next drawn gold, so one egg, one ground nest egg spot. That's what it's called, I don't know. They've drawn birds. I want to draw birds as well. Um, we'll take for reasons just mentioned that one. Oh, hello. Interesting. Mm. Still I think I want to not give away free food at this early stage in the game. Hmm. There is a. Uh, this is wrong, right? I uh, only have two actions left now. So I'll probably draw cards again. I might as well lay eggs because in some future turns I might want to generate the berries with card drawing, but I just don't want to do it right now. But I will need eggs at some point, and I don't really have plans to. Or. Yeah, I don't have plans, and I don't have the option to improve my grassland, really. So. I think one more poor laying two eggs without anything else action will have to happen in any case, so. We'll see. And by the way, the gross beak is another bird which can generate extra wheat, at least if there is some in the bird feeder. So having the sandhill crane somewhere um, to gobble that wheat up <clears throat> might be indeed a nice idea. Fisher is in the in the real think tank now. Gained food and gained two weed at that. So it's not too unlikely that that will lead to another bird. I still think that does, uh, giving away food is too fishy, so we just do this egg laying thing now and then 
We'll see what happens. Cassin's Sparrow. Okay, so there is the, the filled column. Then I will fill my column as well. So no immediate payoff for the uh, food deprivation, but it was worth a try. So I'm going first, and I find a Orduin skull here in the tray, which is uh, the answer to my unasked question what about drawing cards? Mm, it also sort of answers the what about the ground nests question. Mm, this is very convenient. They are Quite easy to satisfy there. As usual with gulls, they don't uh, really have principles when it comes to their diet. They eat anything. Mm, and anything is not as difficult to get. Anything and wheat and berries is very, very easy and incidentally that pays for my entire hand except for one fish and one worm which sort of sounds great mm, so in theory i will want to still want to play all of these birds i might not need the turtle dove Probably. Let's see. What do we have here? We need grub. We just take a grub. Not discarding yet. Then we can uh, already play the grow speak. Get food again. Ideally four, which could pay for the two gulls. Which would then be two birds for the round goal. Which would tie with our opponent. Um, it's probably not realistic to get three of the ground nest birds down and fill them with eggs, so we have to watch out what they are doing. If they play the third ground nest, then we can resort to just participating in the round goal. We also need to lay eggs again if we want to do all this. Mm. So if the bird feeder stays the same, we get three of the things that are there, plus one coated wheat. Eastern screech, oh, that's not a ground nest. So we need a fish for Mrs. Odwin. We don't need the berry as the hummingbird provides these. We want this weed and another weed. So this means incidentally that it doesn't work. Because I'm one egg short. I can only play groundless bird lay eggs another ground nest bird but then i won't have eggs on and there is a third okay so it doesn't matter mm. which means i could go a 
different way now. For example, get food again, play crane, lay eggs. Uh, I think that's pretty reasonable. Mm, there is wheat, which I can grab with crow's beak. I really don't need berries. with playing some card drawing birds and find some useful birds for the end game. The end game. For example, <laughs> eagles or goshawks or something. Yeah, these most birds of prey are <clears throat> not very big in the points department, or at least not very big in the points divided by food department, except, except for these that you can play for free with tucking cards. Oh wow, there is even a fourth ground nest, so yeah, good that we didn't enter this competition. Mm. We need one egg here, and then we can start saving for forest nests. And we do this and be moderately happy. Um, hmm. So First two rounds are over. Oops. <laughs> Sheesh! <laughs> what just happened? I just shrinked. <sighs> Use reverse shrinkage. Mm. The question that I wanted to ask myself before shrinking was Is it worth to play both? Gulls still. How often will I draw cards? Will I draw cards that often that order wins gull is worth more than ring build gull, or will I just play ring build gull and be happy? Mm. Hmm. Difficult questions. I think the auto wind skull gives me a bunch of options and it's kind of likely that I will draw cards three times in the game at which point it will be as good as the ring build call. The question is, um, I don't really have payoff for also playing the ring build call. When I really draw cards three times then it will also be three more points. Three more options. Hmm. I should have thought this through more carefully and played. I'm not the assumption that I want to play both. I should have played the ring build call first. <clears throat> that was kind of an oopsie. So, argument for the ring build call is I can play it now. Argument against it, I'm not sure if it's worth it. What's the state here? Some random base game birds. It's only base game birds, interesting. Um, yeah, let's just use the resources at hand and play this. <coughs> So, um, at 
the moment the turtle dove is my only platform nest spot that I have available. But I'm sort of looking towards the red kite, which could build a roost somewhere here. Turkey Vulture will not be very happy with this prospect. But if we had the red kite, then we would need the dove. So another thing is... Oh, kill deer. <clears throat> another base game bird, but a very good one at that. So they have four platform nests already, which they are kind of likely to fill. We won't need the Greater Flamingo now that the Killdeer is there, which is a bit odd because there were already good Whiteland birds. Uh -huh. Well, mm, let's draw some cards. I want this. And a random one. And I don't want this. Probably don't want this. Um, hmm. This is six platform nest spots. On an otherwise kind of useless bird. Still also probably not playing the shoveler, so might as well keep it. The weight mallard. So I'll grab some food now. As there is a lot of wheat, crane needs to be fed. Needs to be fed and needs to be fat. Yes, both is true. So, one wheat, another wheat. Yeah, wheat, wheat, I love wheat. Mm, that. Well, they just played another bird of prey, so I'll probably wait until way in round four before I play the red kite on top of the vulture. In theory, I could as well play it on the wind skull, actually. So there is six egg spots, which means if I start laying eggs now, I can overtake, or rather stay in front. And generating five points each time, which is okay-ish. This won't be a very high scoring game. For lack of very exciting birds. A bunch of rock solid birds, but really nothing too exciting. They've laid eggs again, so they're at six. I will jump to seven, feed the crane again, grab this round goal, which will probably be. Kind of important because I'm not. Oh, well, we just get a present here. Mm, no more hanging around. That's a bit late. Um, we're not using the kinglet. We might buy that one. Oh, the late common raven. So yeah, I can, from my side there, I'm, I'm very happy to let them have it at this point of the game. Mm. There's almost a chance, oh, there is a very realistic chance that we could play the goldfinch. But apart from the red shoulder hawk, there is not really any tucking action going on, and as long as there is a turkey vulture, 
there is no real incentive. So one platform nest, three platform nests, four platform nests. Ooh, they did hunt. Uh, they have six spaces, so yeah. Still in the mood to just uh, doing it very relaxedly. Just play this. We're not playing this anymore. We're not playing this anymore. And we'll probably not play the goldfinch. No, we're not doing that. Eat. So, yeah, that was a nice hit for sure. Mm. We can keep this very, very simple. Just play the red kite for some points of value and lay eggs. Mm. So when we lay eggs two times, we will get Six points each, which is very nice. The kite is also six points. The one point will stay the same, and it's six via this. Yeah. So let's just do that. Playing a rather simple game here. Oh, actually. The it's one 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 point less actually because one of the weeds will come from the colted, which is already one point, so it's just upgrading it into two points, which means one of the egg laying actions is only five points, but still. Both of the double weed bonus card birds are only three points and only Draw one bonus card, so it's kind of a gamble with then nine birds to actually hit it. So there is a fish crow, which is also a nice bird. So no competition for the round goal here. Mm. It's not a game of many birds. So I have a lot of tucked cards. They have got nice scores in the round goals, which will be 17 14, I guess. They won two, I win one, one is tied. So I lose three points <coughs> in comparison here. We'll Gain points in tucks and also some in eggs, maybe. On birds we have 
14, 22, 31, 33, which is not a lot, 27, 37, will six points down on birds. Our bonus card will only give four points. Yeah, this will be pretty mediocre. I mean, we'll, we are ahead 17, 16 on tucked cards at the moment. That's good. But it's, I'm not sure that this will be enough. So they collected a bunch of food. So I'll, I suspect that they will slam another nine point birds or something. <clears throat> Which leads me to believe that we will be behind. And this is that this will be the last game for me in the Emerald Tenegat Tussle tournament. Mm. Which would be a pity, but 4 2 would be a kind of okay result overall, so I didn't enter it with any expectations. But then, of course, I started having some win streaks. Well, but I think this is not a win streak game. Although I won my last game, but not the one before, so this is over anyway. They laid eggs again. I play this on top of this. The good thing was that I could participate in the round goals with minimal effort and it would have been kind of difficult to win the two nest type egg round goals anyways because they have four star nest spaces and several other birds with the right nest type so good that I didn't invest too much in these unwinnable round goals so it's just fine so yeah we participated that's nice let's see what happens I think I'm slightly behind overall so I will be behind on birds seven oh, that's not too much I'm behind there up a little oh oh nice I actually did it so there was not too much hidden value going on in the bonus cards or in the birds so yeah I suspected it was the low scoring game but indeed my tucked cards were enough to win this nice okay so well uh, I have to rephrase my statement from two minutes ago. This was not my last game in the Emerald Tenega Tuzzle tournament. There will be more, as my record is now 5-1. Nice. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed watching this rather unconventional video with uh, only, like, nine birds played on the other side. Mm. And many base game birds. Mm, yeah, thanks for watching and make sure to switch on your YouTube television for the next encounter with Blutzoy Feuerball. Thank you.